Hello and welcome to 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarb al -Fat. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree Number 53 of 2016, appointing members of the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW, for its sixth session. The decree stipulated the appointment of the following for a three-year term: Dr. Sheikh Maryam bin Hassan Al Khalifa, Halim Hamad Al Ansari, Sheikh Zain bin Khalid Al Khalifa, Sheikh Hassan bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, Maryam Ahmed Jumaan, Afnan Rashid Al Zayani, Masuma Abd Al Rasul Isa, Dr. Sheikh Rana bin Isa. Al Khalifa, Brigadier Ali Abdul Rahim, Dr. Huda Hussein Al Masqati, Munna Sayyid Ali Al Hashmi, Wadad Radil Musawi, Sheikh Asil bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, Dr. Sabah Salah Al Jneed, Dr. Suzanne Abbas Muhammad, and Dr. Amira Abdullah Mansour Al Qayyim. His Majesty also issued Decree Number 54 2016, reappointing Hala Muhammad Al Ansari as Secretary General for the Council for three years, with the same rank stipulated on the establishment of the Council and its amendments. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace today the President of the Supreme Judicial Council and Cassation Court Chancellor Salim bin Muhammad Al Kuwari and the Council members. They greeted His Majesty on the occasion of the Royal Decree issuance to form the Council. Al Kuwari also handed His Majesty the annual judicial report for the year 2015. His Majesty affirmed his keenness on reinforcing judicial independence, supporting the judicial authority, and providing qualified caterers. He stated that that the judicial authority plays an important role in maintaining the community's rights and enhancing its security and stability. He affirmed that the Bahrain judiciary protects human rights in Bahrain and that its integrity should be respected. He noted that establishing the concept of justice and equality is considered a main pillar in the construction of the modern state. He commended the efforts of the council's presidents and members in carrying out their national duties. He praised the content of the annual report which included the accomplishments data and future plans to develop the, the judicial system and improve its efficiency. His Majesty expressed pride in the Kingdom's judges for their efforts to achieve justice and guarantee people's rights. He added that justice is the foundation of the Bahrain judiciary. He noted the organizing organization and continuous development of the judicial authority's structure and legislations. His Majesty highlighted the Kingdom's rich history in the judicial field he affirmed that Bahrain will continue to be a land for all without discrimination. His Majesty wished the Kingdom security and further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a number of the royal family members. He affirmed that the Bahraini society is civilized and wise and that it understands the importance of national unity. He noted Bahrain's sense of national responsibility, which has made them immune to attempts of division and partnership. He discussed with the audience a number of topics related to the economic, regional, and international developments and the measures taken to minimize their effect on the national economy. The Prime Minister stressed that the proper economic management is going to create a dynamic environment that would prevail over the monetary imposed by the current developments. He asserted the need for united regional and international efforts to adopt initiatives that would ensure the security and stability of the region. His Royal Highness added that the region can no longer withstand further conflict and that it has witnessed enough clashes that negatively affected its progress and development.
His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at the Gdabia Palace the Minister of Health Faiqa bin Saeed Al Saleh, who presented him with a delegation from the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland, the RCSI, headed by the President of the College in Dublin, Professor John Highland. His Royal Highness affirmed the support of the government for all organizations that supply the health sector with caterers capable of responding to the government's strategy for health and therapy, which aims at providing the best medical services for citizens. The Prime Minister hailed the leading educational role of the college and its contribution to training highly efficient Bahraini medical caterers, stating the kingdom's keenness on enhancing cooperation with the college and benefiting from its global reputation and achievements. His Royal Highness asserted the keenness of the government on developing the health and medical sector and on improving medical education through benefiting from major universities in the world and attracting the most prominent medical and health institutions and senior doctors in all specialities to the kingdom to benefit from their experiences. The Prime Minister commended the efforts of the college in developing the health and medical sector in the kingdom, its experiences and its highly efficient caterers. The RCSI delegation expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his continuous support for the college which encourages them to further enhance cooperation with the kingdom. Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, issued Edict 4 for 2016, reappointing Sheikh Maryam bint Hassan Al Khalifa as a Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Women for three years. The Vice President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Honorary President of the Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Association, founder of Khalid bin Hamad Mixed Martial Arts Organization, KHK MMA, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated the success of the second edition of the Open European Championship of Amateurs Mixed Martial Arts, which concluded in the capital of the Czech Republic, Prague. His Highness affirmed that the organization is promoting the sport by activities and championships that strengthened the relation between him and the member associations and also develop the capabilities of participants which was reflected on their levels in the championship. His Highness today witnessed the competitions of the tournament's final day where he crowned the first place winners with the presence of the International Mixed Martial Arts Federation President Kenneth Brown and IMMAF CEO Denzen White. His Highness praised the strong levels of the different weight categories which reflected the preparations of the teams that were able to make it to this stage of the tournament. He also wished the other teams best of luck in upcoming events. His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa deputized the Minister of Health Faiqa bin Saeed Al Saleh to send the seventh graduation to attend the seventh graduation ceremony organized by the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland, the Medical University of Bahrain. The Minister of Health stated that this ceremony is considered an honoring to all the graduating students who devoted all their efforts to gain knowledge and skills that will enhance the health and therapeutical services provided. She also urged all the graduates to continue working hard to apply the knowledge they acquired and to cooperate with the medical caterers in the kingdom to ensure patients safety. Al Saleh asserted that this batch will make an important addition to the nursing field in the kingdom and will contribute to enhance nursing services provided to all patients in public and private medical facilities. The Minister of Health noted that the ministry has been keen on improving the quality of the nursing care provided and on enhancing the capabilities of the caterers. She also hailed the efforts of the college in supporting the ministry and its role in improving the Bahraini medical sector. Al Saleh expressed thanks and appreciation to his Royal Highness for patronizing this ceremony and to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for his interest in medical services. Good evening and welcome to the Bahrain International Channel. I'm Bara Abdallah with the business news. And now to the stocks. Bahrain All Shares Index closed at 1,196.45 points 
marking an increase of 10.25 points above last closing. The increase was in the commercial banks, investment, services, and hotel and tourism sector. And investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 47% of total shares. 51 transactions included 1,399,424 shares worth 187,205 Bahraini dinars. As part of the bilateral relations and intensifying the exchange of delegations between Bahrain and Russia, a press conference was held today to strengthen the relations. More on this report with Mohammed Youssef. The Bahraini-Russian Joint Business Council organized a press conference today on the outcome of the Bahraini-Russian Joint Business Council meeting at the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Mr. Vladimir Dmitry, Vice Chairman of the Chamber of Commerce and Industry of the Russian Federation and Head of the Russian side of the Joint Business Council, was part of the press conference and he expressed his thoughts on the deep-rooted relations between Bahrain and Russia. I think this meeting uh, is um, uh, a proof that uh, relationships between our countries, both on the political and uh, which is my sphere of responsibility, on the economic uh, level, are flourishing and we have uh, a lot of perspectives. We have a good perspective of uh, intensifying cooperation between small and medium enterprises, memorandum of which uh, was signed uh, today. His Majesty the King uh, visited Russia twice this year and this is an extraordinary example that uh, uh, on the top level of our uh, 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 political leaders' um, cooperation we have uh, um, a very uh, outstanding example how countries uh, can get together and uh, um, may achieve good results. The press conference revealed the Joint Council's action plan for 2017 and the projects underway, which aims to step up business and trade between both sides. During the meeting, Jawad al Hawaj, the vice chairman of the Bahraini side of the council, was assigned to follow and monitor the work progress and accomplishment of the council. We are today here in the Chamber of Commerce receiving a very uh, big delegation from Russia and of course a part of the meeting, it's our uh, meeting for the Bahraini Russia Business Council which will uh, really be a good opportunity uh, during this meeting to improve relationship in these different sectors tourism, health, uh, food, uh, uh, banking because they are talking about uh, possibilities of study the uh, Islamic banking so we believe that this meeting, it will really reflect very positively in the relationship, especially that the two authorities from the two countries, uh, they are very much uh, willing to uh, improve the relationship. And you know from the visit of His Majesty uh, to uh, Russia, that's a good uh, indication for all of us to uh, be on the same uh, direction. The press conference also coincided with a B2B meeting with a large Russian business delegation and an electronic exhibition. While commending the bilateral relation between Bahrain and Russia, the members proposed boosting trade and investment between both sides, describing the current volume of trade, which amounted to $138 million, as below aspirations. This is Mohammed Youssef reporting for Bahrain International.